aggregate demand and aggregate supply. In this module, you will understand the meaning of aggregate demand and aggregate supply, analyze the different concepts of aggregate supply, and determine macroeconomic equilibrium. Aggregate output and the price level. The economy is so complex that we need to simplify matters by isolating the important ones from the millions of relationships. Let's begin with something we already know. Imagine a t-shirt. Now imagine clothes more generally. Clothes of course include not just a t-shirt but thousands of other items. Now make the leap from clothes to all goods and services produced in the economy. Clothing, food, housing, entertainment, transportation, medical care and so on. Economists call this aggregate output. Since aggregate means total, aggregate output is the total amount of goods and services produced in the economy during a given period. Just as we can talk about the demand for t-shirt or the demand for clothes, we can talk about the demand for aggregate output. Aggregate demand is the relationship between the average price of aggregate output and the quantity demanded of aggregate output. The average price of aggregate output is called the economy's price level. The aggregate demand curve. We have learned about the demand for a particular product. Now let's talk about the demand for our composite measure of output that is aggregate output or real GDP. The aggregate demand curve shows the relationship between the price level in the economy and the aggregate output demanded other things constant. The downward sloping AD curve reflects an inverse relationship between the price level in the economy and aggregate output demanded. Aggregate demand or aggregate expenditure is the total expenditure on consumption and investment by four economic decision makers, that is households, firms, governments and the rest of the world. It can be written in the form of the given equation. The aggregate supply curve. The aggregate supply curve shows how much the producers are willing and able to supply at each price level, other things constant. How does quantity supplied respond to changes in the price level? The upward sloping aggregate supply curve AS, shows a positive relationship between the price level and the quantity of real GDP supplied, other things constant. There are two concepts that explain aggregate supply quite differently. Classical concept of aggregate supply and Keynesian concept of aggregate supply. According to classical economists, there is no relation between aggregate supply and price level. They had considered aggregate supply curve as perfectly inelastic curve and strictly believed that an economy always functions at the full employment level of output. In Keynesian concept, on the other hand, the AS curve is perfectly elastic before reaching the full employment level. It means that all producers are ready to produce any quantity of production given the market prices due to price and wage rigidity and constant marginal productivity of labor. Which of these three models is correct? Well, at some point in time, each of these viewpoints has been correct. In fact, each of these can be seen as smaller pieces of a larger picture. At very low levels of real GDP, where there are a lot of unused resources, we use the Keynesian model. At full employment, when the economy is operating at full potential, we see the classical model. And finally, in the middle, where price level and GDP increase in response to increase in aggregate demand, the economy is in the intermediate range. So at different points in time, we would have one of these versions of aggregate supply. Macroeconomic Equilibrium The aggregate demand curve intersects the aggregate supply curve to determine the equilibrium level of price and real GDP in the economy. At any other price level, quantity demanded would not match quantity supplied. Firms usually must hire more workers to produce more output. So higher levels of real GDP can be beneficial because 1. More goods and services become available in the economy and 2. More people are usually employed. Let's recap. 
Aggregate output is the total amount of goods and services produced in the economy during a given period. Aggregate demand is the relationship between the average price of aggregate output and the quantity demanded of aggregate output. Price level is the average price of aggregate output in the economy. Aggregate supply curve shows how much the producers are willing and able to supply at each price level. Other things constant.